Hello my fellow admins and welcome to my channel. Void.admin user is speaking and in this video we'll learn how to install Jira software on Windows. So let's start. So basically uh, the first uh, thing that we need to do is to download the, the version, the file version for, the, for Jira software for our environment. So our environment is Windows now. So we can start with a simple Google search for this. So we can go download Jira software for Windows. Of course, for the purpose of this video, I will uh, I will add uh, this link to the description of the video. So you don't need to search it on Google. You have the direct link here. So basically what we have in, uh, in this page, we have two options. One is for the long-term support release as the Atlassian uh, guys uh, uh, mentioned here and also the latest release. I personally tend to go with the latest release as this uh, offers you like the latest um, features that uh, they uh, de uh, deployed to this release. So I tend to go with this release, but uh, bear in mind if you are trying to mimic uh, an environment that you have, I don't know, on your on, at your job maybe, uh, maybe at your job you are using a Jira software that it's 8.13, let's say for example, you need to um, to download the older version. So basically here in this uh, older versions, uh, you can see the latest uh, release here, but on the bottom you can see also for 7.0 and 8.0 and you can show the details here. <clears throat> and in the, this list, for example, let's say you are looking for 8.13. So you have 8.13 here and you also have the specific 8.13.15, uh, uh, 16, 17, what do you need? And you need to download this if you want to mimic that environment on your um, local machine. But if you are not trying to mimic and you are trying to go with the latest release, you can go with, uh, with the latest release from, uh, from this page. But what we need to do here is we, you, we need to choose the, the file extension and we need it for Windows. So this is Windows 64 bits. So we choose this and we click on download. And now uh, we need to agree with this uh, license agreement and we click submit. And what, we, uh, what uh, it does, it downloads directly um, our extensions that our extension that we need to run in order to install this uh, uh, this Jira software uh, for Windows. So basically now it's uh, downloading. It takes ages, but I actually have it prepared here on my desktop. So you just right click on it and you run it as administrator. And now we need to wait as the installation wizard is preparing. So what we have here is the is the new window for the installation, and you just need to click next. Here we have you have multiple options, but I uh, tend to choose the custom install. So we click next. Here we have the path. I will just leave it like this. See program files and Atlassian Jira, and we click next. Here I will uh, leave it like this, the same way, and I click next, and I need the Jira here. So I click next. So we have a bunch of nexts here. So here we need to use the, like I use the default ports, like I don't want to set a custom value for HTTP or control ports. So I will use the recommended one. So I click next here. So this is this comes with the interesting part. So uh, later on, we, if you want to run this service in the background, so basically if you are restarting your PC or I don't know, your stopping your PC or just closing your PC and you're just starting on a new day. Basically, if you close your PC, uh, that Jira service will run in the background if you uh, do this check here. If you don't, you can uh, run it by using the command prompt and you can start the uh, start or stop the Jira service here. Uh, I personally tend to go with the, the manual start of Jira as I tend not to use it daily on my personal PC. So if I'm not using daily, I don't want something to run in the background just to, uh, to get uh, to, I don't know, to eat some memory there. So I usually go with uh, uh, not having this uh, Jira as a service in the background, but if you're uh, willing to sacrifice it and I don't know, when you start your PC, you have 
you can access your uh, local environment, you can do it so. But uh, for this video, I'll go with, uh, with without this installation Jira service as I have new steps uh, later on. So we need to click next. And here basically it gives you the information of the installation directory, home directory and so on. And we just click on install. Hey, we have the uh, installation complete and we can click, uh, we can uh, leave this uh, check mark. So now it, it will start basically. So if we click next, uh, the Tomcat server will appear and you will see that uh, the Jira it's starting so it will have like two more steps in order to to show uh, show it in your browser but we will wait here so it's launching as you can see in the on the server uh, information and we just launch Jira software browser we click finish and here it goes in the local host 8080 as we choose as the normal one so what I what I will do now it's uh, do a fresh installation. So I will just uh, use the setup for me option here. So continue to my Atlassian. And here basically uh, I, uh, I'm i already um, logged in to the Atlassian page. So if you are not uh, logged in there or you don't have an account, a new, um, uh, a new window will appear. Basically I will show you on the screen the window that will appear. Basically you need to uh, log into your Atlassian account or maybe you want to uh, to sign up for one so you will have some steps there uh, previous to to this page that I'm showing here but I'll also to take a glimpse for you just uh, uh, not to get lost in these steps if you see this uh, this page here and actually for you it's uh, it's uh, requesting your Atlassian account so basically you will go in this page after you you set up your Atlassian account and here you are just checking your trial license. So uh, I don't know if you saw this, but actually um, here on the, on the main page of the download, uh, they had this uh, information here. Basically they ended the sales for the new server licenses. So that's why you don't see here as an option, the Jira server because they want, uh, they started to discontinue this option. They will go with the data center and also with cloud. So you'll only see cloud and data center, but we will choose data center here and product Jira software. And here we need, you need to uh, add your email, for example, for the organization, your instance is run up and running uh, because it's up and running because we installed it. And basically the server D will be given to you for uh, as a trial support for 90 days per product. So we generate the license and here we just click yes. And now you type here the, um, uh, the account setup basically for your administrator account. So if you, uh, you will mirror any other environments in the future, basically this doesn't matter. Like you can just throw uh, any email addresses, any username or password, because if you're uh, doing the the Jira backup uh, from the restore, uh, you will have your own account that is your own production or something like this. So here I just uh, choose, uh, for example, like password here. That is not so important. Okay, and my I have my username and the email. So you'll log in with your username. So we click next and now uh, of course, I get all of all of these pop-ups here uh, with my password because it was a super simple password. So yeah, we need to wait here. Okay, so now uh, Jira is ready to go. You install it, we are happy and let's uh, get started. So as you can see, uh, now we have like the welcoming page. So you choose your language, you click on continue and here you can choose your avatar, click next. And now I can create like a project, uh, uh, I don't know, just uh, for the purpose of this video. So I click submit and 
as you can see, we eventually have our Java environment ready to go. So what we need to do here, uh, for example, you see this Tomcat server. So basically this uh, is keeping this local host uh, in order for you to see it in the browser. So for example, what we can do now, uh, as you'll do every time uh, when you're starting your PC, if you didn't check that uh, Jira service that runs in the background. So you go, go in the start and you just type uh, CMD, this is a command prompt, and you need to run it as an administration. And here we have the, uh, the window that we'll use in order to start this Tomcat server because this was started uh, in the installation wizard when we click start the, the Jira software in the, in the browser. So we didn't start with a command prompt, it was from the UI of the installation wizard. So what we need to do now is to uh, see where we uh, installed this uh, Jira software. So whenever you, uh, whenever you, uh, you choose that path there, so for example, I choose it in, the, in my C drive in program files and here in Atlassian. And here you have the application data and the Jira. So you need to click Jira. And here you have this bin. So you need to enter in this bin. So basically you have a lot of batch files here that you'll, uh, you can use in uh, CMD. And what we need here is to start, uh, is to stop Jira because now Jira is running. So we'll uh, use this batch file. How do you use this batch file? Basically, uh, we need to go in uh, using the command prompt in this uh, path here. So you can uh, click on this uh, uh, section here in, uh, in the Explorer. You just click it and it will select yourself the path that you need. You just hit Control C or just uh, hit copy from here from with the mouse or uh, however you want. So here we need to type CD and uh, you hit a space. And after that, you paste uh, the the path for uh, the for this uh, bin folder. So now we hit enter, and as you can see, we are uh, so we got through from from the Windows System 32 uh, to the, our bin file here. So now in bin, we need to execute this batch file. So in order to do this, we just need to. Um, so now we want to stop Jira, right? So we need to execute this. So basically you need to type the name of this batch file. So now I will just go and type stop Jira and we click on it and it, it will stop it. And now if we want to check it. So here, if we want to click on, um, on Jira software on the home dashboard, you will see this message here. So basically Tomcat server is not running anymore. So basically you cannot see in the local host. So this is uh, the thing that you will see when you're restarting your PC if you didn't choose that, uh, that option in the first place. So what we need to do here, we're, you, uh, we are, uh, you need to be in this bin in order to start or stop Jira. So now we will start Jira, just hit enter. And as you can see, the command prompt started the Tomcat server. And previously we started this Tomcat server with uh, installation wizard. So as you can see here, now uh, Atlassian Jira is starting up because we just uh, started from the command prompt. So as you can see, it also logs uh, the startup of Jira. So now you can see that it's uh, it's reading here and it basically it's loading the apps and we need to wait a bit. So this startup will depend how large is your um, your Jira environment that you need, uh, you want to. So basically, if you want to mirror what you have on production, maybe at your job, maybe it has like a lot of projects, a lot of uh, uh, issues there, and it will take some time in order to start up. Even now, it took like two minutes to start up. So so you need to choose the username and password that you choose when you did the installation. So you need to remember, uh, oh my God, <laughs> again, this thing, because my password was too weak. So I don't want to save, please. So 
basically that was it so uh, this is how you install Jira uh, software on Windows and actually I showed you how to start and stop Jira if you're not checking that uh, Jira service that runs in the background if you, you want to make your life easier and you just don't want to do this every time uh, you can not you can check that uh, that Jira service and just do it uh, automatically so yeah thank you very much for uh, for uh, uh, being here with me and I hope this will be helpful for uh, I don't know for testing purposes and how you want to do it and uh, if you like this video just like it it will also help if you uh, click that subscribe button if you want to see more content of uh, of this uh, uh, of this Jira topic and uh, what I can say happy administration and see ya peace